Good morning. It's Saturday and I'm going to share with you our weekend. We're planning on having a really lovely weekend. I am going away next weekend so I am craving a weekend of just doing all the lovely things. Um, it's not the best weather which is a little bit annoying because we've had so much sunshine and it's all been on days when I've had to do work and then it's the weekend and it's like grey outside but we're going to embrace it. That's the reality of living in England and we're going to go out today. I'm not entirely sure what we're going to do, but we're going to head out. Roxy has come down to join us with some water. So I'll wait for her to finish. She's got impeccable timing. I've just done my Freddie's flowers and look at this. Provence, picturesque Provence greetings from Wish You Were Here. Don't rush to get that big suitcase out just yet. We're bringing the perfect purple pops of Provence to you and your vase. I just thought that was really lovely. Meant to be a little reminder and they're very pinky purple. Um, the thing with Freddie's flowers is when it arrives and you put it together, um, it looks beautiful. But then as the days go on, they all bloom and come out, which I find very exciting and it kind of makes the experience of it really enjoyable because every day I go in and I look and see how the flowers have changed and it honestly is one of the small things in my life that actually brings me so much joy doing the flowers and watching them every day. It brings me a lot of happiness and it makes me think that when we do our veg beds eventually next year I want to have a few of them be um, flower like um, cutting flower beds because I do have a lot of joy from flowers and I think that, that would be really amazing if I could grow my own flowers and I could cut them. Our neighbours, um, we can see kind of like a little gap in the hedge and you can see all the lovely sunflowers and incredible beautiful flowers um, that they're growing and every time I pop out the garage I just have a little peek and I just think, oh, it looks so beautiful. So um, yeah, something for the future. I'm gonna make myself some breakfast, I'm not entirely sure what I'm having yet. Then we're gonna Probably I'm going to watch The Bachelorette, which will be a lovely cosy start to the weekend. And then I'm not sure what we're going to do. I'll speak to Alex. I think we might go to Penzance and go to 45 Queen, Queen Street because my friend has been telling me I need to go there for a while. Um, and I think maybe my sister and brother-in-law might come, depending on how well they slept because they've got a young baby. So yeah, and I would love to see my niece. So hopefully they can come, but we'll see. Hey Bob. So I thought I'd come in here and show you my outfit because this mirror is a little bit bigger than the one in my dressing room. I'm going out now for lunch with my sister and brother-in-law. Let me turn you around. So I've got these little earrings on and this necklace. I've been wearing a lot more gold jewelry recently and I really like it. So I need to expand my collection because I really like the way that it looks. Um, I've got this shirt on from Linen Fox. I've got this shirt in white as well. I really love the fit of these shirts and they're just so classic. And then I've got these jeans. These are from M&S. I think I got them in a size too big because they are pretty huge, <laughs> but it makes them extremely comfortable and I've just got this belt to sort of hold them up. Um, and then my shoes are Vivea. These are new shoes and I really love them. I have these in the kind of coffee chocolate brown and I got these in the sort of lighter brown because I was wearing the other ones so often that I thought that it'd be good to get a different shade of tan only because this is a little bit more summery and it kind of goes with more accessories. And then for my bag, I've got this new Vivea bag. I absolutely love this bag. So it's got the Vivea logo, logo on there and I think it really looks very high end because of this logo. I just think it's gorgeous and it's in the same sort of fabric material which I really love and it's very like stretchy and comfortable. I used this yesterday because we went to the spa. We've got a membership at the St. Ives Harbour Hotel and Spa because it's like a hundred pounds for a couple for the month, which means it's like 50 pounds each, which means you can use the whole spa. You can use the sauna and the, um, the steam room, the pool, 
and the gym and so we went there yesterday and I used this to carry all my bits and pieces in because I don't actually have a tote bag in my collection I've got backpacks but the thing with backpacks is they don't fit well the ones I have don't fit a lot so I really wanted a tote bag that's very convenient I can just sling it over my shoulder and have everything in here easily accessible rather than a backpack we have to kind of like reach in from the top um I've been wanting a tote bag for the gym and just for like day to day for a while so really pleased with this and I'll show you actually something that you can put inside because Vivea also do these kind of inserts for bags which is really handy because then you can put your laptop your phone pens that kind of thing and keep everything in your bag really organized which I think is really smart and I love the fact that they match perfectly I'm um, quite a stickler for that and I think it looks very um French to match your accessories perfectly I noticed that when I was in Paris that all the girls if they had a tan bag on they always had matching tan shoes and belt I mean my belt doesn't match but it's covered um and I just really love that look I feel like it really brings an outfit together and this even though it's a very casual outfit I feel very put together in it because of the matching accessories I really hope those last clips were in focus but I thought I'd show you them up close so this is their Aria five degree shoe and I think that they've upgraded them so they've got a slightly wider fit because obviously with the pointy toe that can be more uncomfortable on your feet at the front but I find these extremely comfortable because they have that wider fit at that area and they are this lovely um material so all of Vivea's shoes I've shown you them before they're all this like kind of fabric which means they're extremely movable which is kind of different to a lot of vegan leathers or vegan shoes I've tried which are very hard because essentially they're plastic whereas because this is like a really cushiony fabric and inside all of their shoes they also have a really lovely cushiony sole it's all like padded they're just the comfiest shoes and I basically only wear these now day to day they're just my comfiest shoes I live in the slippers I live in my like slip-on mules I live in the, the the flats that I've got from them they're just game-changing they're also very breathable they're designed to be breathable like the pores in the shoes let in air and they're antibacterial as well the I think the PU foam is antibacterial which is great so you don't have smelly feet <laughs> you can shove them in the washing machine if they get dirty you can literally fold them up in your bag so you can take them around like if you were going out and you're wearing heels you could put these in there for later on or if you wanted a change of shoes it just makes it really convenient as well and my favorite thing is that they're all sustainably made ethically made you can see all of their um yarn all the fabric that their shoes are made from are made from recycled plastic bottles which is really cool and the insoles as well is made from a natural woodworm so every part of the shoe is considered and done sustainably which is why i really love this brand so much so i'm going to shove these on and we're heading out and i'll show you what we get up to today oh, and just quickly this is their like in inside thing for their bags so it's got a zip so you can secure your ipad or something in there or book or kindle and then it's got some little slots which would be good for wallets that kind of thing i'm not going to use this today just because the stuff i have in my bag doesn't need this but if i was traveling for work that would be really convenient because i can shove all my bits in here and know where everything is like your passport very useful the worst thing you want when you're traveling is to try and dig around in your bag and you can't find anything but let's head out because I'm running late. <laughs> and I'll link the shoes down below and my outfits for today's video because I kind of wanted to show you my outfits for this video and also the discount code I have with Vivea. So you can go check that out down below and grab yourself a pair if you're after a new pair of shoes that are sustainable. But let's go. <laughs> Sorry, I haven't vlogged much since we've been out. We've just um, finished in Penzance. We went to 45 Queen Street, which was amazing. The food was so good. I really want to go back, or we want to go back for an evening and have like wine and snacks, don't we? 
Uh, we do, yes. Like olives, bread, and then like Charlie and Tom can have cheese, and we can have, you know, just little bits because that would be a really like, I feel like that'd be a really fun evening mm. um, to spend. Oh my gosh, sorry. They had like a really good array of cocktails, but I did not fancy alcohol, so <laughs> I just had a lemonade. We got olives, bread, the tofu was amazing. Um, we had like kimchi and pickles. I think next time I want to try the cauliflower. We had the aubergine, which was delicious. Um, honestly, yeah, so really, really lovely. Everything was very good. Yeah, and um, it's very cool in there. And then we went did a bit of shopping. I went to a really cute little antique shop, which had so much good stuff and it was really affordable. Um, if you know Penzance, uh, it's at the top of the high street, kind of opposite um, the Cornish, is it Cornish Hen? It's like on the yes. next door to Weatherspoons. Next door to Weatherspoons yeah. on the corner. Um, had so many good things. I had to control myself. I, I did spend some money in there, but I had to like stop myself because there were just so many things I could have bought. So I've got two paintings for the garage, um, a map of Cornwall, which I've been looking for for so long, and I could only ever find it on Facebook Marketplace for like hundreds of pounds, which I just personally thought was a bit much money for a print of a map. Yeah. Um, and then I got a few little accessories. I'll show you that when I get home. We also got some donuts. I've got a couple here. We're actually going to go to my parents in a minute. Charlie and Tom have the other donuts, but these are the cookies and creams, cookies right. and cream ones. And this is a place called Beige Donuts in Penzance, and all their donuts are vegan. The other flavours were Biscoff, which kind of looked like an eclair because it had cream through the middle. And then also a raspberry and elderflower yum yum. Honestly, they look so good. I'm so excited to have them. So I think we're going to go to my parents and have those with a hot drink. What? Mabbit's Court. <gasps> Mabbit's Court! <laughs> oh my gosh, my surname's Abbott, by the way. So now we're going to quickly go via tops tiles and see if there's anything else in the industrial estate in Penzance only because we want to 100% make sure we are certain about the paving stones I think I'm gonna do a bit of research and go to a few more places tomorrow I worry that some places will be shut so if they are we'll probably have to do a little bit more on Monday because it's a lot of money the amount of space that we have to cover for our patio and a lot of you gave your input on my last video or the last video where I talked to you about the patio and it's really helpful I really appreciate it so thank you um, and lots of people were sort of explaining how they think they think I should go for a way, uh, warmer sort of beigey stone coloured patio stone which originally was what we picked actually um, but like I said the, the one that we had picked that was beigey stony coloured sort of grey it's like a warm grey essentially like a stone colour it wasn't like that when you buy the pack when you buy the pack of it it comes in like lots of different colours so we didn't go for that one and then the ones that we got from my friend's um, quarry were all that grey colour so um, I just think it's good to get options so we can then be sure with our decision because if we did it and then we were like oh we're not so sure that wouldn't be great even if we still go for the the ones we have it will make us sure that it's the right choice because i do love the gray i really love it but i'm on the fence in terms of is it the 100 percent right choice so thank you so much for giving your feedback on that video if you did and yeah even if they don't have anything in top styles because i'm not 100 percent sure if they do outdoor stuff and it also because it's like um a chain Oh, what is this person doing? I think of them as like shower tiles for some reason. Yeah, because I don't know that I particularly would want to go to a place like that for the no, tiles. You just want to see something in person. Yeah, because I kind of would rather support like a local Cornish company or business yes. uh, who specialises, like the quarry we went to, it's Lantoum yeah. Quarry like, in Liscard. Or B and Q or something. <sighs> but they're like a you know uh, independent business who specialises in granite and stones and they know what they're doing so I'd rather get from somewhere like that um, also it's worth asking Will actually if they do have because that's just the stuff they had but they may be able to order in a limestone that is a sort of warmy spongy yeah, well, stone colour we'd ask him before we made any other decisions yeah, yeah 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 but when we were speaking to the builders they were like yeah definitely get your options because you don't want to like regret your choice helicopter where? just went down you missed it Oh. He was coming in quite fast. Oh. Um, so yeah, that's the plan. What a lovely afternoon. I'm so full. Are you? It's four o'clock. I'm full and I've got to eat a donut. <laughs> Not a bad place like, to be. Yeah, am I going to need anything else? <laughs> Good 
good morning so i am trying on some outfits right now for my wedding so this is hen honeymoon and wedding weekend i'm trying to figure out what i'm going to wear what i need to get i'm basically looking on um rental websites to see what outfits i could rent and um vestiaire collective i really want to get a second hand pair of wedding shoes and this is an outfit that i picked up for Provence actually and then never wore it because there wasn't really the occasion and I feel like something like this is something that is going to work for maybe multiple of those events maybe for the honeymoon especially I'm thinking it's for the honeymoon especially but also I think potentially the wedding weekend and potentially the Hindu. I haven't decided but I wanted to show you my shoes I really can't tell from when I'm over there whether you can see my shoes so hopefully you can see the full outfit it's kind of tricky because I'm so far away from the camera, but hopefully I can, you can see all of me. I'm very tall, so it's actually impossible for me to fit you in half the time. This outfit I got from Faithful, the brand. I bought this, like I said, for Provence, and then I didn't end up wearing it because there just wasn't the occasion. And then I've got these shoes from Vivea. I'll show you these up close. So these shoes are so gorgeous. They're extremely comfortable and they're these slip-on mules. And they've got this gorgeous bow on the front, which has this sort of glittery material and that's why I picked them because I really have a thing for bows <laughs> and I just think that these are so comfy and not too formal. As much as I'm going to get a lovely glittery pair of shoes for my wedding time there's probably going to be outfits that are glittery and out there I also wanted some things that feel a bit more casual but also special and these are very comfortable and I had this outfit already and I saw these shoes and I thought they are perfect for this outfit because they look beachy, casual, you know, seasidey, but also they could be worn with other outfits as well. Very comfortable. I love the pointed toe. I love the material. I love the glitter. I love everything about them and they're very comfy. And this outfit is a little bit outside my comfort zone, not going to lie, because I have for the longest time, you probably know, worn big baggy dresses, covered up my body and felt very uncomfortable. So it's actually nice um, to feel a bit more confident in my body now and wear things like this, which show a little bit of midriff. I've got a bit of my sports bra mark still on my stomach, but show a bit of my midriff, show a bit of my cleavage and just, just embrace the fact that I'm young and I have a body and I shouldn't be hiding it because actually when you hide it you don't look your best you look worse you you look like you're covering something up and it isn't it isn't flattering for your confidence or for your figure or for anything really it's fine if you're lazy about the house but I just think that for the time around my, my wedding and my honeymoon and all of these things I want to look back at photos and think wow she looks confident she looks happy she looks herself and this was one of those outfits that was a bit outside my comfort zone but also I absolutely love it so it's this set from Faithful the Brown. I think I got it from Flannels. And it's these lovely collot trousers. They're probably meant to be longer, but because I'm tall, I get used to the fact that most trousers I buy like this are always gonna be kind of grazing my ankles. And I think that works because it feels like something you would wear on holiday and in hot weather. And then this top is this beautiful top that, um, has these amazing puff sleeves and then it does up at the front, very cleavagey. I haven't got a bra on with it, but I could wear a bra with it to make me feel a bit more secure because it does feel a little bit like I'm escaping. <laughs> but I really love it and I think that I would wear this either with a bag like this to just kind of go to the beach or go to like a lunch, that kind of vibe. Or if I wanted to make it more formal, I'd wear it with my Chanel bag because it just goes with everything and it makes everything feel a bit more dressy and yeah I feel like I could wear this on the side like this to dinner so yeah if you're also um planning a wedding or honeymoon or hen do then highly recommend these shoes in particular just because I feel like they fit the bill for that and I'm really looking forward to wearing them and taking them with me on my trips obviously I would be having some lovely makeup because I'm a bit undone today but even being undone in this I feel like confident like I feel like I could wear this like I said if I had the beach bag I would feel confident wearing this to the beach for lunch with some sunnies to the beach I feel like this would be perfect especially if you're going for a meal like for lunch or something somewhere nice because we are going on our honeymoon and this is definitely going to be an outfit you're going to have to stay tuned on my Instagram to see this outfit when I'm there but yeah I'll leave it linked down below 
I'll leave a discount on screen and in the description box for the shoes and I'll link everything for you as well. I've had a lovely start to the day. Apart from my cat weeing all over our hallway, Frankie is getting quite old and pees and poos wherever he wants. And don't worry, we have spoken to the vet about it. He's had lots of checks, but I thought I would show you what I got from the antique shop yesterday. So I got a couple of really cute books. These are just too beautiful. I actually really want to go back and get more, but because I got so many things and we were out with my sister and brother-in-law and a baby and Roxy and Reggie, it was just too much to get like lots of things. But this is The Wide Wide World. Look how beautiful this is. Like I just think it's the most stunning book. And they had loads of them looking like this. So I actually really want to go back and buy um, a few more so these can sit on a shelf like this. I know controversial, lots of people think it's odd that I would buy books just for the way they look. I don't think it's odd. I think most of the time with books, you're looking at them on a shelf. Obviously I read the books we have as well, but I have both. Um, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. This one actually I'm interested in, um, the architecture of Greece and Rome. If you didn't know, I did art history at university and I also did like uh, modules in ancient history and classics. So it's a lot of what I study at uni and I just thought this was a really beautiful book and something that's lovely to flick through and have a look at. There's lots of pictures and I just thought it's a lovely book to have in our home. So yeah, lovely, lovely books. I got a few of these. I forget what they're called. Something where, stoneware. <laughs> uh. So this is um, Timothy White's The Reliable Household Stores. Just so cute. This was 10 pounds. And then I got two smaller ones. These are either for the garage. Um, we need to come up with a name for that room because I can't keep calling it the garage. Alex and my mom jokingly said we should call it the rumpus room, but I just cannot. That's an American term, I think. Um, someone else said like the den or the, what's the other one? I can't think of the other one, but we, we need to come up with a name. So I'm not referring it to it, to it as the garage anymore because it's not a garage. <laughs> But yeah, we've got this one, which is Hicks St. Austell. And I kind of got these with Alex in mind because they both are Cornish um, brewing company. So it says Brewery Company Red Ruth. Sorry, that's the coffee machine going. Perfect timing, the coffee machine's rinsing right now, of course. This is Hicks St. Austell. This is the Brewery Company Red Ruth. I thought these were really special just because they're Cornish. And this is like old beer bottles that they would have brewed beer in. So I just thought that was amazing. I think these need to go in here in our kitchen. Or I'll ask Alex. I kind of got these with Alex in mind. I haven't really shown him yet, but I think he'll like these. They're very cute. And look how cool. And these were 28 and 24 pounds. I think just because of the branding on them. That's kind of quite interesting. I got this amazing clock and like weather dial. I'm not 100% sure if this weather thing is working. I feel like it needs a new battery. The clock is working, but how cool. I just need to think of a place for it. I'm thinking this should go in our hallway. Our hallway isn't renovated yet, so it might look a bit, ugh, but it's either gonna go in the hallway or the utility room, but I don't think there's any harm in um, gathering things for rooms, which we will be renovating in the future. The thing about our hallway is, if you're doing any other rooms of the house, you need to do the hallway last because builders coming in and out, uh, walls getting ruined. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that hallway until we've done everything else in our house because it will be completely pointless. Especially if we do our utility room, it's just gonna get messy in our hallway and undo anything. It's kind of annoying though because your hallway is like the place you walk into every day and the place that you see every day. And our hallway, I absolutely hate it because it is so disorganized and every single week we have to tidy up our hallway and our utility room just because um the organization and the storage is not quite right so whenever we get packages um shoes coats dog stuff it is everywhere and unless you literally tidy it every single day like twice a day it gets messy like that um, i just can't wait until that hallway has a proper organization i really want to build like a huge cupboard in there so it can all be hidden away we already do have a cupboard but there's no storage in it it's literally just a seat so i'm gonna figure something out with that that bench to make more storage and also build another cupboard in there so that all the coats and shoes can all be closed away never to be seen <laughs> and the last thing i got were these two beautiful are they paintings no, they're drawings. These are amazing and they're so beautifully framed. I just could not believe the price. They were, I think maybe 30 pounds each and they are framed really beautifully. They're set 
in this beautiful paper, bound, what's it called, mounted, that's it. They've been mounted beautifully in this lovely sort of mottled paper. And then they both got um, drawings of hummingbirds. So it says, original hand colour by Sir William Jardin Bart, 1862. And I just think they are so, so stunning. I also absolutely love the frames. So these are either gonna go in, well, I think they're gonna go in the garage because we've got the beautiful lights in there. And I feel like on top of one another against the tongue and groove um, um, match board will look so nice. Um, and I just want to go to some more antique shops in the foreseeable because there's going to be so many more paintings that we can collect. I do go into galleries all the time. Honestly, I go into galleries in Cornwall all the time. I just cannot bring myself to spend £3,000 on a painting. Like it just, it's not in me. <laughs> um, maybe if something incredible happens, maybe I, I think Alex and I have, have talked about gifting ourselves a painting as a wedding present, but I think it would be more on the £1,000 end or maybe 500 to a thousand pounds or maybe a smaller painting because the big ones that I love they're just so expensive and I understand why like artists don't earn enough money and I genuinely think they should price their paintings that way because lots of people can afford it but I just I haven't been able to bring myself especially when you can come across these amazing vintage pieces of art we've got all over our house like this one that was about 200 pounds but I would I would really love that actually for our garage so I'm gonna we're gonna be on the hunt but anyway I'm gonna put those up hopefully this weekend and get Alex to help me try and find a spot for those books and the stoneware and I think for now this I'm going to hang do you know what there is actually a hook in the hallway and I'm probably just gonna hang it on that for now just so that there's a clock in the hallway because that'll be useful I'm gonna do some more tidying I've tidied upstairs um and put some stuff away, like have, did some folding, some laundry. Um, I'm gonna spruce up the living room, the hallway and the kitchen again. It's just so much mess all the time. <sighs> ah, there just is not organization. Oh no, has Alex spilt something? I think Alex has spilt his fuel everywhere. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Right, yeah, I'm gonna do the hallway because there's loads of crap in the hallway and um, then we're gonna go to the hotel, St Ives, Harbour Hotel and Spa, I don't know if I mentioned it, we've got a membership recently and it's amazing. So I'm gonna use the gym and go in the pool and maybe use the sauna and just relax and have a perfect Sunday because it is raining and then I'm gonna come home and I think I'll have a bath. So it will be an epic <laughs> day of lots and lots of um, bathing and stuff. Although will I have a bath? I might not have a bath. If I'm going and using the sauna and stuff, I might just have a shower at the hotel and then come home and do a bit of pampering, like face mask, that kind of thing. Yeah, I think I'll do that. I can't believe I forgot one of the things we bought is on the floor. This amazing map. Is this upside down? Nope. This amazing map of Cornwall. I've been looking for one of these for so long because I just think they're really, really cool. Um, I can only ever see them on Facebook Marketplace and people were trying to charge like 200, 300 quid for them. This was... 38 pounds. I actually think the guy who owns the antique shop is really underselling his stuff because all the stuff I got was so affordable and he has an amazing selection. Like he's curated that selection of stuff really well. And he's like, I would, I feel like someone would have, I would have bought this probably for a hundred pounds just because of the comparison of what I've seen elsewhere. But I'm pretty sure this is all in, is this? No, this is in Latin. I thought it might've been in Cornwall, Cornish. But you can see Godolphin, Clowance, Crowen, Godolphin Hill, St. Earth, Gwinia, Camben. <laughs> Did I say Breek? Breek. Instead of Breek. Yeah. Changed. So Godolphin, Clowens, Godolphin Hill, Crowen, all those places are like some of the local sites and stuff near us, like places to visit. And it's got all these little hills all over it. And I just think it's beautifully mounted again on amazing paper, which Sometimes when you buy like prints and stuff, you have to spend money then mounting it and getting it framed properly, but Sorry, this is like framed really beautifully, isn't it? Yeah, it's nice. Like if you look, the, the mounting is really lovely and then it's got a black and gold frame. So we're thinking this should go in our hallway upstairs, like our landing, or on the stairs somewhere. Um, maybe as you come down the stairs. Again, because we haven't decorated our stairway and our hallway, I'm not sure about putting anything up yet, but at least we have it. It was just too affordable and too beautiful not to use. Um, maybe we could put it somewhere else in the meantime. 
we have so many things I want to do. Like, because the patio is being done outside and I have zero involvement in it, I'm getting this huge itch to do something in our inside, but also don't want to overwhelm myself. <laughs> I really do want to do our bedroom and the spare, other spare bedroom before Christmas, just because when people stay, I want it to feel nice upstairs because our bathroom, we need to do that pretty soon because we've got all the bathroom bits. We, we've ordered all the stuff. Um, but we need to actually book that in. I think when the guys do the patio, I think we'll have a break and then book them in for the winter to do the, the bathroom so that it's done before Christmas. And then while that's happening, I can do the bedrooms. We'll see if Alex will let me. I'm ready to head out. We haven't quite done all the tidying, but it is one o'clock and I think we just want to go and then we'll come back and finish. We need to just hoover, mop and put a couple bits of recycling away. But I've got, I don't know if this is the best position to show you my outfit. I'm going to move you. I have got this jumper, which is actually from M&S. I got this before my holiday because I needed a jumper last minute, literally the day of, I was like, oh my gosh, I don't have a jumper that's lightweight. All my jumpers are like really huge and fluffy. So I got this before my holiday and then underneath I've got my Organic Basics t-shirt, which I'm not sure what's going on with that Organic Basics, but my friend said to me that she thinks they might have gone bust because on their Instagram, and their website is all like shut down. Hopefully everything's okay with them because I really love Organic Basics. Um, but yeah, I don't know what's going on. They seem to have their website under maintenance or something. And then I've got my, these leggings. These are Lululemon. Um, they are like a khaki color. And I've actually got the matching sports bra underneath. I'm not flashing you, I promise. And I've got my Vivo Barefoot trainers. And then this is my handbag. This is also a Vivea handbag it's slightly different from the other one because the logo is like written so the one before is just like a v uh, logo here but this has the writing and it's a lovely cream color i really love this color with an outfit like this because it's kind of like different shades of white and khaki i feel like it looks very sophisticated and like i said it's perfect timing for when we've got this membership because then i can actually have a tote bag that looks nice because before i was just taking a like shopping bag <laughs> that I could put my things in. So it's nice to have an actual nice bag. It's different to the other one in that this, the um, handles aren't a stretchy material and there's two of them. So you can open it like that rather than there being one strap, which is adjustable and it's like elasticated. So this is, I feel like this is a bit smarter, slightly different vibes. Did you hear my knee just click? <laughs> and again, it's made from sustainable materials, ethically made. I've got this inside storage thing but i'll show you what my what's inside my bag so i've got my little toiletry bag with just face wash let me show you may as well while we're here i've got my salt of the earth deodorant my typology retinol moisturizer and my ren clean skincare clean jelly oil cleanser and my disciple balancing mist just for post shower because they have um shower gel and all that in the in the actual place i've got my organic basics sweatsuit <laughs> jogging bottoms and jumper some fresh uh socks and then this underwear interestingly was sent to me by parade and i honestly think it's my favorite underwear i literally wait for it to come out the wash it's a really really comfortable bra I got it in a size I think too big. I think I need a size smaller, but I still wear it because it's comfortable. And it's also perfect when it's your time of the month because I do tend to grow a cup size when it's my time of the month. But yeah, it's kind of like a t-shirt bra, really soft material. It's like, imagine a swimming costume that was really thin. It's like that. And then the pants, again, so comfortable, the shape of them, super comfortable. Again, I think I got them in the size too big, but they're really, really comfy. And again, it's that kind of, material that's really silky and soft they're actually my most comfortable underwear i love them what else have i got in here and then i've got that little storage thing that i mentioned to the side of the clothes so that when i'm in the changing room it's easy for me to get what i need and in there i've got my swimming costume this is my stay wild swim costume i thought it was quite applicable for today because it's quite rainy and stuff. I don't really fancy wearing a bikini. I love this one. It feels like you're a Bond girl because there's a zip down the front, which is very lovely. And then I think I've literally just got my sunnies, my membership card, some money, and that's kind of it. 
I might put some lip balm if I find it in here. I'll leave this linked below if you want to go check it out from Vivea. And all of, also any other, other shoes that I have in my collection that I haven't shown you in this video, I'll link below so you can see the ones that I've picked and that I have. And I think we're going to head out. Oh yeah, I didn't think I talked about my Lululemons. So I was going to say, I um, have tried so many sustainable legging companies. And when I started to go to the gym again and um, go more frequently, I realised I didn't have enough, especially because lots of my girlfriend collective leggings and sportswear were too small for me because I bought them a couple years ago. They were all like a size 10 rather than a size 12 or 14. And I asked my friend who's really tall and she said, get Lululemon because they are the best for being tall. And my, my personal trainer also said this. And I know that their sustainability credentials aren't up there. Um, however, I was fed up of being in the gym and constantly pulling up my leggings. I did get um, some girlfriend collective ones in the right size, but they, I love them and I still wear them, but you do have to pull them up because they are still not tall girl friendly. These, I never have to pull them up because I feel like the tops of them, it's designed to mould your body. I feel like the Girlfriend Collective ones, I really, really do love the look of them and stuff, but they do feel a bit more like straight up and down in terms of the fit. Whereas this has a bit of a curve to it where I feel like it kind of shapes your body and your bum. And I feel like that means that the waist is a bit smaller than the hips. So it kind of goes like this so that you, so it doesn't fall down. And it is truly high-waisted. Like it's, it actually goes up <laughs> past my belly button. All other leggings only go up to my belly button. So I thought I'm just going to get them because then I can have them for a really long time. My personal trainer's had her Lululemon leggings. She has, she said she's had them for like five plus years and they're still in such good nick. And I think that's sustainable if a brand is like expensive, <laughs> but you wear them loads and loads and loads over and over and over again and they fit you best. So I'm actually thinking of getting another pair in black because I literally wait for these to come out of the wash and wear them again. And they go all the way down to my ankle, which again is extremely rare. So yeah. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go now. This video is probably the longest video I've ever made. <laughs> switched over the camera yet to my normal at home camera but this is my little post swim or gym we had a gym session went for a swim jacuzzi sauna we left though because we didn't realize we got the time wrong and it was um kids hour so it was really busy like the whole pool was packed so we had to kind of just leave because we couldn't really get in the pool um but here's what i'm having as like a it's kind of like i didn't really have had a weird timing for food today because i had lunch well, I had like a, a, tr a trek bar, like a flapjack for breakfast and then had mushroom on toast at like 11, half 11. So I haven't eaten since then. So it was kind of breakfast, but kind of not because I haven't really had lunch. So it's like half four now. And I'm just having this to sort of tide me over for dinner. This is my leftovers from last night. It's basically just like a stir fry, like tofu, mushrooms, um, cauliflower, that kind of thing. And then we've got pot of Alpro. This is the cherry flavour. I really love these because they're actually surprisingly high in protein and they're really yummy. And then I've got some raspberry and strawberries. I've got a cup of Earl Grey tea, some sparkling water and then a My Vegan Carb Crusher protein bar. I've got it on a tray because I'm taking it next door. I'm going to sit in the garage, which we're going to come up with a name with, all of us. And I'm going to maybe watch Persuasion, that new movie, until dinner time but I think it's gonna be bad, so I might not watch it, I'm not sure. 
I'm like in need of a new TV show. My sister told me to watch something, what was it? Let me know your recommendations for either great reality TV or dramas, period dramas. I've probably seen every period drama though, so. Well, do you know what? Outlander, I was super obsessed with and then just didn't, didn't ever finish. Maybe I need to go back and find Outlander and re like watch the season that I've not watched. I think it was because it moved over to a different platform. That's why I didn't watch it. Yeah. Oh, This Is Us as well is another one that I stopped watching, but I need to go watch because it's finished now. Hmm, let me have a think. I'm approximately two minutes into this movie and already, what? I feel like they're taking away what people watch period dramas for. You watch a period drama to go back in time, hear people speak how they used to speak. And she just said, now I'm single and thriving. Like this is not 13 going on 30. This is Persuasion by Jane Austen. We don't want that kind of thing. Am I gonna make it one hour and 45 minutes in? Probably, but I'm probably gonna browse on my phone. <laughs> Dinner is ready. I've got some summer greens from Riverford, which I sliced up thinly, put in the oven with loads of salt and some garlic powder, and they've like crisped up, kind of like kale chips. I've got tofu, which is kind of like experimenting with a few new flavors because um, I always make tofu the same, and it tastes so good. I added nutritional yeast, cornstarch, loads of sriracha, soy sauce, um, sesame oil. I think the difference was I added nutritional yeast, which I don't usually do, and it really makes it taste good, and the cornstarch makes the sauce all sticky. And then we've got some quinoa, which I cooked with veg stock, all topped off with lemon juice and some sesame. And I've got a green cola. Alex bought these. I am assuming, okay, so with stevia, I'm assuming the reason for this is that it's a, just, it saves you having to buy from Coca-Cola, so it's not, as bad of a company, but I actually don't know. I don't really know what this is or where he got it from. Oh, it's natural caffeine from green coffee beans. Interesting. Okay, I'm gonna enjoy this. End this vlog, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.